So today we're talking about a little bit of Battlefield XP farming and some missing features, as well as the GTA trilogy getting pulled from PC stores. My name is Devante and you're watching GameSpot News. Let's start with Battlefield 2042 because it is out now in early access for a subset of players. And now that it's live, we're learning more about its features and functionality. Like the game doesn't have the traditional type of scoreboard featured in past games. DICE never said it would, but people are still sharing their opinions about this on Reddit and social media and asking the studio to add the scoreboard in an update. There is also no server browser, another staple of the series that allows players to select maps and modes that they wanna play instead of entering the matchmaking hopper. Adding to this, Battlefield 2042 has no in-game voice chat. The developer said during a briefing attended by the Washington Post that their analysis found that many people instead use Discord or the system level chat features on Xbox and PlayStation. That said, DICE plans to add voice chat to Battlefield 2042 in an official capacity after launch, and potentially as soon as day 25, which would be sometime in December. And in other Battlefield news, players have found a way to farm XP using the game's portal mode. Because of this, updates and hard server resets have already come to the mode in order to fight the issue and other, quote, bad behaviors. A look at the mode server earlier today showed numerous XP farming servers with names like 1HP Bots XP and Fast XP. Because players can create custom servers with highly customized rule sets in portal mode, it seems like one of the first things players thought of was how to most effectively grind HP in order to rank up and unlock more weapons and attachments. Well, according to the official Battlefield Direct Communications Twitter, the effectiveness of the XP farming servers in the mode have been reduced, although the tweet does not go into detail about what exactly was changed. The development team also performed a hard reset on all of the servers for the mode in order to free up space. Moving on to the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition because it has been pulled from the Rockstar Games launcher, which is the only place to buy the game for PC. Adding to this, the Rockstar launcher has also gone down. Spotted by VGC, a GTA fan claims to have found the main SCM film within the Definitive Edition's code on PC, which is described as the holy grail for each title. The files are said to include cut content and messages from Rockstar North developers. Some believe this is part of the reason why the games have been removed from the store. So what do you think of the definitive GTAs? Because as excited as I was before, I'm, I'm mixed now. I don't, I don't really know how to feel now that they're out. But all right, the PlayStation 5 was released on this day one year ago, and to celebrate the anniversary, Sony has announced new usage stats and revealed the most popular PS5 games so far. In a blog post, Sony's Jim Ryan confirmed that more than 360, <laughs> like, you know, I know it's placed in, but like Xbox 360, forget it. More than 360 games have been released on PS5 in the past year, and players have collectively spent more than 4.6 billion hours playing on PS5. Looking ahead, Ryan said that there are a great many additional PS5 games to look forward to, including more than 25 in the works at Sony's own PlayStation Studios. As for the top played PS5 games based on gameplay hours, Epic's Fortnite leads the way. In second place is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, followed by FIFA 21, NBA 2K21, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, rounding out the top five. So let me know what you're playing this weekend. I got a full plate. I got to jump back into Far Cry 6. I got to play more Forza. I got to finally touch that Animal Crossing DLC that I bought and haven't played yet. The Forgotten City is calling my name. I kind of want to play Skyrim again. Ugh. How do we get another day in the weekend?